So before I start today's video, I know everyone's seen the title. So leave in the comments, do y'all like the fact that they start making the C-Coupe, the E-Coupe, and the S-Coupe look alike? Or just Mercedes looking alike in general? Or did everyone like that distinctive look? But there's a reason for it. I'm going to be explaining why they are starting to look alike. Hey, what's up, star status? The I'm a star squad. Welcome back to the channel. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Because I show y'all what it's like to daily drive and daily own a beast like this. You know, I do service costs, what you should look out for on the car. You know, check my page, check my channel, and follow the other videos. If everyone is interested, you can hit that subscribe button. But in today's video... I'm gonna be talking about the C Coupe, the E Coupe, and the S Coupe. I got a full tank of gas in my E Class Benz. I got the S600 through the AMG in. Mashing up the block, they can't see through tents. Why my G Wagon gotta be so dipped? All I ever wanted was a brand new Benz so I could ride 4 deep. Just me and my friends. I used to be flat broke, now I got ends. First thing I did was go buy me a Benz. Look, I'm leaving, mashing this Benz all season. Body to beat. So number one is, I'm gonna just uh, call it or name it brand build. Uh, meaning, you know, back in the days when the CL was out, when the SL was out, all these cars, they had a distinctive look. Every Mercedes really had a distinctive look. You knew a S-Class coming down the road. You knew the CL from the way the back looked. You knew the SL by how it looked. But to the naked eye nowadays, you don't really know what this is coming at you. It could be a C-Coupe. It could be an E coupe or it could be an S coupe. But one way you always could tell is the size. The size of the car matter when you see it. But to the naked eye, it's just another Mercedes. But the people that know, they know the S class coupe is really in a league of its own, starting at 119K. But the reason why I say brand build is because I really found out some good information about this car. That's why I'm bringing this video. I really found out the real reason because I know everybody was thinking like me, like, why is Mercedes doing this? But they got a point. It's a brand build. And it makes a lot of sense to me. So just hear it out. Because I was another one. I was one of those people that wanted to say, I don't want my 100 and whatever K or my S class to look like the C class. And that's what Mercedes did. They just start changing the sizes of them. But the reason they're doing it, like I said, is for brand build. So basically, when you got an S-Class and it's priced that high and they come out with a C-Coupe or they come out with an E-Coupe, the prices change. So basically, that person that was looking at an S-Coupe that say, oh, I can't really afford that. Okay, maybe 15 grand less. I'll just go get another car. But Mercedes is saying, hey, instead of getting that other car, you can get a C-Coupe. You can get an E-Coupe, and I know I'm going to get a lot of comments saying, I hate they did this because I do too, but they brought some clarity to it. It actually makes sense. So it's brand built. They're trying to get buyers that, hey, that even like the S-Class. Okay, I I'll settle for E-Class. I like the E-Class. It's similar design. I like the C-Coupe. The C-Coupe similar design. But let me remind you that the C-Coupe is not pillarless. Only the E-Coupe. Pillarless meaning there is no B-pillar right here. You know how all car all cars got to separate the windows number one brand build they want that person that look at an s and say oh i can't afford the s but guess what to see a smaller but it also looks just as beautiful so that's number one they want people to start buying these cars they want you know the younger buyer that's why they make a a c coupe something that look is smaller it's more appealing it's more attractive in price so that's why they're doing it to make them all look the same. But this goes hand in hand with number two. So number two is, remember how I just talked about how the CL looked different, the SL used to look different. That's in Mercedes head what was wrong. Moving forward, they wanted all the cars to kind of look the same or share the nameplate so you know what you're buying uh, to sell better cars. They said, hey, when the SL looked like this and the E-Class looked like that, they lost sales because all these cars were looking different. This Mercedes may have been gorgeous to someone, but the other one may have not been. So you get what I'm saying? So that's the number two is difference of models. So basically to Mercedes, that's what was hurting the brand. So they start making almost even the E sedan look like the S sedan. The C sedan look like the S sedan, just little versions of them. Because that's what was wrong in Mercedes head was when you got this, C, this S class that's lovely that I like, but guess what? I don't really like the C-Class, so I'm going to go buy a different car. 
maybe BMW or something. So basically to them, that kills the competition off. That says, okay, I got this C coupe that still look like the S. I got this E coupe and they are lovely. And that and see, even for, for me saying that, if I couldn't get this, I might would have settled for an E coupe because they all do look similar. But what gets it is the size. You know an S. The, the S just commands the presence on the road. It's wide. You, you can get these Desenio upgraded seats. You can get the like everything is just that much more finer in the s but the one way you always could tell is the size of this thing and it, it just it commands your presence on the road it, it's a big car it's a big uh two-door coupe mercedes is a brand is built to trying to sell a lot of cars that's their thing so it's like when you compare them to like a maserati or a bentley like those cars don't sell in high volumes mercedes want to be one of the best brands that sell in high volumes and they do that pretty well i will say it's no really luxury car on the market or company or brand that sells mass cars that's a luxury brand if you get what i'm saying i mean bmw is close but i look at them more as a performance brand so that's what they're trying to get to so that's what they're saying they saying people didn't like the old sl so we lost sales and remember sl got discontinued and now they're bringing it back so some of those models just weren't it to mercedes so they said let's make them all kind of look similar so even the people that want a different model or whatever model can still identify the brand by the look so i hope that's making sense because it did to me when i found this out so i'm not as mad no more because they're just trying to bring in like more people more sales to say hey that's our brand that looks like the c coupe yeah that's a mercedes when you see it that's what they want that's what they're going for look at it that's a Mercedes. They don't want you to see one model and be like, oh, what's that? Oh, why the C-Coupe this ugly? Why the E-Coupe? So they all made them similar, if that makes sense. All right, so number three, I'm just gonna say size. All these five answers or all these five reasons really go hand in hand. I'm gonna say size. So every size of the car is different. The C being the smallest, the E being a midsize, the S-Coupe being like a full size. So basically it's still a spinoff of number two. It's for that brand identity. So they just said, we're going to make a smaller one, we'll make a medium one, and we'll make a large one. But really, it's crazy because if you really look at these cars, and you know Mercedes like me, they look nothing alike. Like me, seeing each of these cars down the road, I can probably almost, well not with my eyes closed, but it's like a saying, being sarcastic, almost with my eyes closed, tell you what model it is. Because that's how different they look. That's how sizey, I don't even know if that's a word. <laughs> That's how sizey they look to me. It's like, it's just different. The S-Class, when you see it, it's almost like the S-Coupe, I mean, it's like your heart drop. Like, well, for me, it does. Like, every time I see an exotic car, you get that. Oh, like, oh, it's nice. I don't know. It's just, that's just something that happens. Okay, so number four, I'm gonna label this one the market. I feel like the market made this happen. The market start making all the cars in general. Every brand, if you're starting to notice, they all kind of look the same. If you really... Think about it, all the Lamborghinis really kind of look the same. All the Audis really kind of look the same. All the new Beamers really kind of look the same. I blame the market. I just feel like they're taking the creativeness, the boldness out of making cars. I mean, like for me, like what would I get after this? Like what car, honestly, y'all think would, I, like I don't even know no more. Like all the cars, like they're starting to look the same. It's having the same, like they're just cars now. Like, I, I, like, no lie, I like that, you know, Dodge make, uh, you know, the fast cars, the muscle cars, that's fast because that's what they're meant to be. These are meant to be luxury cars. When everything goes electric, everything's going to be 1.9. Why would you want a Plaid when something else is just as fast? All cars is just as fast. Every four-door now is going to be just as fast. No car is going to, they're all, we're all going to have the same zero to 60 time in the future i feel like it okay and number five is something to think about i didn't really think about this as you know gordon wagner uh that's you know the designer he designed the s coupe so in theory if you're thinking about it it's the same designer like like look at it as hearing a producer sometime with pharrell you know it's a pharrell beat sometime if it's timbaland you know it's a timbaland beat so that's what mercedes tried to do they tried to make it so you look at the car or you look at the styling and go that's a mercedes and i feel like when you get the same designer 
he's gonna design similar cars. But yes, I do miss the old days when everything was different. Yes, I do. But as much to say that, when you get in this S Coupe, it doesn't feel nothing like the C or the E. People complain about squeaking. People complain about, uh-uh, not in this. This thing is built tough. It's built like a rocket. It's just a really nice overall car. And if you guys didn't see my reality, I can't talk. I can't get it out. I cannot do it. But if y'all seen my reliability video, one of my earlier videos, go check that out because I had this thing for over a year and reliability's been good. And that's crazy because it's an S-Class. I didn't really spend no out-of-pocket money. I just fixed the AC. But you know, that I already talked about that in another video, but I wanted to state it because it went along with Gordon Wagner. So, you know, designing a beautiful car. This thing is beautiful to me. It's gorgeous. It's like just my favorite looking overall road car is the s coupe over anything i take it over anything a lamborghini or whatever you name it, whatever a two million dollar car you name it i just like to look this is like a dream car i like the look of it i like the flowing lines on the you know the sway leave the... just everything so you know signing off bands man